In this video tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about work order types in TrackIt. Work order types help you categorize your work in your help desk uh, so you can keep track of the most common types of issues and you can really see and start getting metrics on what are the most common types of problems you deal with as well as it helps you route work to the proper technicians on your help desk based on the type of work order that it is. So, uh, for example here, I'm just going to jump into a work order real quick to give you some context around this. This particular work order says the summary is not receiving email and it's been categorized as a type of application, as a subtype of exchange, and as a category of webmail. So this particular user was using Microsoft Exchange through the web and it's an application issue and that's why it was categorized that way and then it was routed to Chris Johnson because of the skill routing policy. So we're going to go over here to Tools, Administration Console, take a look at where this is configured uh, under Help Desk, Work Order Types here under the lookup tables. So under my demo here I've got Applications, Facilities, Hardware, so I've got several different top level types and once this is selected from that type drop-down we looked at a minute ago then the user would have the option to select the subtype and category as well. Now, you can configure these however you like. In this example, we have applications as a top-level type, and then exchange, and then office. And then over under here, we have a hardware type. We have a network type, a telecom type. These can be configured really however you need them for your help desk. So, if for example, if you only do software support and nothing else, your top level types might be all software applications that you deal with or you may reverse it and as a software support operation your top level types might be install problem or uh, uninstall problem or licensing problem or that type of thing and then you might have the type of software underneath it um, so typically though if you were doing just software support you'd have the names of the software titles at the top um, but that's why I mentioned the other method. It really can be customized however suits your help desk. So it really just take a few moments before you fill out these work order types, subtypes, and categories to think about the types of work orders you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and maybe what's the best way to categorize those so that you can get the most out of these types, subtypes, categories. I mean, you can always go back and change them later, but it helps if you get them right or close to right uh, the first time through just because then you won't have to mess with them later. So I'll expand these out just to, so you can see all the examples I have. So under hardware I have desktop, laptop, peripheral, and server. And then under here I've got peripheral failure, uh, laptop purchase, and then under desktop I've got uh, category problem booting up and purchase. So and you can add as many categories under these subtypes and as many subtypes under these types and as many types as you like however it suits your needs. And then these can be used with skill routing policies to drive these work orders of these certain types to particular technicians that are responsible for that. So uh, we'll cover that in another video. Uh, I hope that this